I really appreciate you joining me today. And these are some updates coming from London. Thank you to Dave Nathan for his coverage from the Greenwich murder that occurred on the 8th of February 2022. It was a fatal stabbing incident that took place and at 5.11 on Tuesday, police were called to reports of a stabbing in Lionel Road. Officers attended with the London Ambulance Service and they found a young male that had been stabbed and he died shortly after. There was a large police presence and also sniffer dogs at the scene and ambulances were also present and forensics and you could see evidence that they tried to save his life. A police officer stood cordon overnight as the forensics took more evidence to gather for the later investigation. In the morning, there was still a large police cordon across two parts of the road that actually shut access to two houses. Even the next day, there was more forensics that had turned up to take out more inquiries and they focused around the cars in the nearby area. And the other officers then come by to actually check the drains. And this is what they'll do if they're trying to find knives and things that people have disposed of following a stabbing or an attempted murder or a murder. And in this case, the police have launched a murder investigation. The London Ambulance Service said they found a man with stab wounds and tried their best and took him to an East London hospital. But despite their best efforts, he died. His next of kin have been informed and have been supported by specialist police. But the victim has been identified as Bartek Vizhikovsky. And he was only 21 years old. A picture has actually been released of him as well. And a post-mortem examination took place at Greenwich Mortuary on Friday the 11th of February. Homicide detectives from the Met Specialist Crime Command are investigating the murder and Detective Inspector Mal Presley said, I want to reassure the local community that experienced and dedicated officers are working tirelessly to ensure that those responsible for Bartek's murder are identified and apprehended. The police then appealed for anybody that was in the local area to come forward with dash cam footage. Lionel Road, they said, was very busy at 5pm and somebody must have been driving past or seen some of the altercation. So this is a breaking news story and we'll definitely follow this with updates and anybody that gets charged and any trials that follow. But right now, we can't really talk any, any further about this. My condolences to the family of Bartek. This isn't the only fatal murder this week in London. The other one took place in North London. The papers have said this is the first teenager that was murdered in London in 2022. Police identified the victim as Donovan Allen from Enfield and they've made a second arrest in relation to it. They released a statement to say that an 18 year old male was arrested on Wednesday the 9th of February and this was on suspicion of murder and he's held at a North London police station. Police were called at 10 minutes past 6 on Monday 7th of February following reports of a stabbing in the Enfield area. The ambulance service arrived and found Donovan injured and despite their best efforts he died at the scene shortly after. A post-mortem examination on the 9th of February found that Donovan died from a single stab wound to the chest and homicide detectives from the crime command are investigating and inquiries are ongoing. Donovan's family said in a statement that was released by the police, Donovan was small when he was born with his dad, nana and three uncles who were present at his birth. From the start, he was surrounded by love and he went on to increase and attract more love as he grew up. His judo instructor, football coach and even his barber loved him very much. His friends of every age, colour and walk of life respected him too. And the last time I spoke to him, Don said that he'd done his prayers and 40 press-ups. The family statement went on to say that he was a mommy's boy. Also, his uncle and dad were very close to him. His grandparents said that he was very confident, charming and was adored by his younger siblings. Although his physical body has been taken from us, we can no longer just see or touch him. But in time like this, we need to take comfort in the fact that he is there in spirit. They go on to say that he was planning his birthday party at the end of the month and he finished his journey and we can't wait to see him again. Another person that has been arrested in relation to this is a 14 year old male but they've since been released on bail pending further investigation. So that was a really moving statement from the family and definitely makes you think about the loss that they, they've gone through and what they're going through and what they're going to go through every single day for the rest of their life. So my condolences to the family of Donovan and we'll definitely follow up that story when it's appropriate. So my condolences to the family of those featured today and I'll definitely keep you updated and there'll be follow-ups very shortly. In the next episode I will be talking about Cressida Dick and the fact that she's actually resigned from the Met Police and everything to do with the situation in the Met Police right now. So really appreciate you joining me tonight. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.